everybody, Aaron here from Firefly Studios, here again with another episode of Inspirations Behind Stronghold. For those of you who did not see our first episode on the units that fill up your castles and battlefields within the Stronghold series, let me explain just what the hell is going on here. So this is a series I do exclusively on our YouTube channel, where I take you guys in the community through the history that inspired the Stronghold series. Now I hope you can tell, but I'm a bit too young to have been a game developer way back in 1999 when the first ever official Stronghold game was uh, being developed by Simon and Eric. But I can assure you that I talked to those two especially um, and the most senior members here at Firefly Studios into you know what history and the books and the movies and the films and you know popular culture that inspired them when they were first making you know Stronghold 1 and Stronghold 2 and onto Stronghold 3. This week we'll be tackling our boisterous cast of characters from the rat Duke de Pus to the enchanting Lady Seren. Now remember this will just be our title set in European medieval history but with a Crusader series hopefully planned later down the line. Now finally before we begin we are doing a small giveaway um, in celebration for how well this series is doing so far. Click the link in the description below to enter that and enjoy the Inspirations Behind Stronghold characters. First up, we'll visit the four foundational characters of the Stronghold series. Appearing in nearly all the titles, you guys know him as the rat, the snake, the pig, and the wolf. Having talked to lead designer Simon about the creation of these characters, he states that these four were pure archetypes, embodying the baser human instincts of the powerful medieval barons that ruled at the time, but with little control. So first up you have the rat, Duke de Pus, who embodies the senses of arrogance and entitlement you would often find in men of noble birth. But when it came to sword and steel as well as military tactics, the rat was lacking and earned his title as well as reputation. These personality traits would then feed into how the rat would operate and strategize in-game, being the weakest thought of the Freyless castle by a large margin. This then led to his in-game appearance as well as how Simon and Eric directed his voice actor. I don't think I need reminding you how de Pus sounded. Actually screw it. Roll the clip. Ratty wins again! Ratty wins again! <laughs> now for the snake, Duke Beauregard. This time around, representing dishonesty and political slipperiness among the elites, the snake is your classic backstabber and the catalyst for the stronghold story and unfortunately the symbol of an all too common occurrence in military history. From Julius Caesar to Joan of Arc, treachery was a huge issue in history and the snake was Simon and Eric's recognition of it. With the snake being more cunning than the rat, this showed as the snake's tactics and castles were slightly tougher to overcome. In Simon's own words, the pig, Du Truf, is a bully at heart and like all of his kind only sings when he wins, and is quick to squeal once events turn against him. The embodiment of greed and, well, pig-headedness, this is the kind of lord to give his peasants half rations while having a great kingly feast himself. To fit in line with his character, Simon and Eric designed his playstyle to incorporate the brutish macemen in order to reflect his bull-headed attack strategies. After all, they are nicknamed the Bully Boys. Last of our four fundamentals, the most cruel and cunning of the lot, the wolf, Duke Volp, is the ultimate challenger within the Stronghold series and terrorizes the player across multiple titles, even kingdoms. He is the symbol of intelligence and strategy, on the edge of sanity and hell-bent on conquering all before him, Alike Edward III, Plantagenet, or Genghis Khan, his relentless spirit shines on the battlefield and his military prowess never falters. The wolf's physical and mental stubbornness even leads him to escape death. I assume most of you have finished uh, Stronghold 1. If not, sorry for the spoiler, but it's been 17 years, guys. Come on. So moving away from our core cast of characters to our later titles, Stronghold 2 and 3, these characters are based on your typical medieval heroes and villains from historical fiction as the series became more cinematic with Stronghold 2. Firstly, our protagonist. Guys want to be him, girls want to be with him. He's the hunk of our meeting room and a noble knight, it's Sir William. Said to be based on the characteristics of Robin Hood, So William encompasses your classic knight in shining armor and is the perfect vehicle to fight back the various foes of Stronghold 2. Then we have Lady Seren, with many notable women of noble and not so noble birth cropping up throughout history as adept fighters and military commanders, we felt it would be amiss not to include a female figure within our cast of combatants. Lady Seren is tough and determined and certainly not a pushover within our stories. Described by Simon as the old fart, so great is your experienced veteran archetype. 
Wise and practical when it comes to warfare, but sadly on his last legs when having to fight himself. He is a kindly father figure to Sir William and a guide for the player, but knows himself that sooner or later he would either choose to go out a hero or wither in a country of war. For those of you who have read or seen The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, Edwin is basically your Edmund figure, but with a head of a lot more firepower. And I guess, no weakness for Turkish delight, Edwin is so ignorant and ineffectual that he never really finds out he's the bad guy. A classic Judas figure who might as well be a distant relative of the rat, he's someone who you can't wait to siege. Does Olaf even need an explanation? He's big, he's mean, and he's a viking. All that wrapped up into a fictional narrative and you know he means trouble. Said to be a bit part enemy, Olaf is your classic first few mission antagonist who is unveiled far too early in the story to survive it. He's your punching bag as you figure out the intricacies of Stronghold 2. Supplies and get a wall up. Another bit part employed in an attempt to keep the story moving with plenty of conflict for the player, Angus MacLeod isn't evil per se, but still offers a significant challenge for the player midway through the campaign. Likened to Cal Drogo from Game of Thrones, although they look a little different, Angus is a paid mercenary who happens to control an army, just like Drogo. Although in this story, unlike Drogo and Daenerys, Angus does not fall in love with our protagonist, Sir William. Your classic insidious advisor, Simon likens the hawk to Grima Wormtongue from Lord of the Rings. The hawk whispers dark thoughts into the hammer's ear, even though he doesn't really need to, hoping that one day it will pay in titles and treasure. Idiot! The hammer, the arc villain, the power crazed mastermind. If Edwin was the long lost cousin of the rat, the hammer would be that of the wolf your main antagonist and fiercest foe in Stronghold 2. Tactically one of the most adept within Stronghold 2's cast, Lord Barclay is well versed in a variety of tactics to defeat Sir William. And I mean, just look at the dude. If that's not your typical I wanna kill you demeanor, then I don't know what is. Apologies to all those who are bald, clean shaven and armor wearing. So that was another episode of the Inspirations Behind Stronghold. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions for what I cover next, be that siege equipment, castles, or the setting of medieval Europe itself, put that in the comment section below and let me know. Now before I go, as I said at the start of the video, we do have a giveaway running, so click the link in the description to uh, enter that. And as always, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe here on YouTube for more game dev goodness every single week. See you next week.